Melvin was an influence on the entire Western uh, art world. I mean, his his, uh, uh, his color schemes, uh, his values, he, his uh, uh, his work influenced everyone, impacted us all. I think Melvin took cowboy art to another level. He had a great eye, just, just uh, was able to put that, that wonderful composition together and paint realistically, but in an impressionist mode. He had like a, just a huge breakthrough at some point in the early 70s from, from my standpoint, that where he, it is so obvious for going from this level up to a level where he jumped about three spaces to this level. And it had a lot to do with the figures in his painting. He started being a little more aggressively trying to make them more detailed, but they weren't really detailed. It was all in his handling of the paint and handling the lighting on those figures and how he set them up and drew them. He was so great at doing uh, twilight scenes. And of course, Frank Tenney Johnson was a very famous illustrator, Western painter of Twilight Scenes, and everyone still loves his work. But Melvin's were just as good. They were absolutely gorgeous. He got the most beautiful turquoise in the skies, and he did a lot of those with adobe buildings, maybe with the lights on in them. And he was just so great at creating a beautiful atmosphere. One of the things I learned artistically from Mel Warren was to keep it Simple. Make sure you bear down on the main, the main part of the painting, and don't, don't try to show everything. Don't show every cow, and every horn on the cow, and every weed in the field. Just keep it simple. That was his main influence to me, because he, he knew how to get down to the main deal and stay with it.